Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. You can probably guess, but today I'm sea fishing. I thought I'd take the approach of just going into the local tackle shop, which is Jerry's and Morecambe for me, and just asking, can you put me on any fish where I can stay? As you can see, the boot of my car, dry. Stay dry and warmish because it's terrible weather. It's not raining that hard, but it's really windy. The wind's going to pick up. It was actually gale force winds yesterday. And there's some shocking scenes in Morecambe. There's some huge waves crashing over. It was, well, I went for a nice little wander down the prom and it was crazy. So today it's just settled down a tiny bit. I've come to this spot, I've been told by the fishing shop on a big wall. The tide's out at the moment, so I'm gonna set up by the time I'm ready. Hopefully it's gonna come in. I'll show you what baits I'm using and what rods and stuff, cause this is just really different. I have no idea what to expect. So my rigs for the day, just to clarify, I uh, absolutely don't know what I'm talking about here. We have a two hook flapper size four and a two hook loop size two. If anyone could shed any light on what the difference is between these two, let me know. But I'm just going to get one on each of my rods, get them baited up, see what happens. Got mackerel and rag for bait today. So we're going to go for rag with a mackerel tip. Right, so this two hook flapper makes sense to me, but this two hook loop, what is a spring doing on this rig? I honestly just grabbed a few packs of rigs and slapped them on the counter. No idea. Now for the glamorous part, Jerry's have provided some pretty good looking uh, ragworm here. Nice, chunky, colorful things. I'm still a bit scared of the pincers on these. But well, these are going to be the main bait for the day. I've also picked up some uh, Joey mackerel, so I'm just going to put slithers of skin. Little slithers on the tip of the uh, hook, just to keep the rag on. So this is my bait. This is sort of the same for every single one. Half a ragworm, with a tiny little slither of mackerel on the end. I'm going to get these out now, and the wait begins. So this is my power rod, heaviest rod, heaviest lead. We've got to try and get this some distance. No shock leader though, and relatively light line. I think I'm on about 25, 30 pound mono. So I won't push my luck too much. Got enough distance that, I think. Now I'm not sure if this five ounce lead on this next rod is gonna hold in the tide. Cause I've never fished here. No idea how strong it is. So I'm going to cast downstream from my heavier rod, just in case, so they don't get tangled up. So I'll just quickly talk you through my setup. So we have a 12 foot beach caster on the left with just a big reel, blue line. It's my bigger rod. And on the right, we have the Smuggler Max by Rigged and Ready. You'll notice there's not quite as many eyes as usual on the end of the rod. And that's because I've got the smaller tip, just so I could chuck out a big five ounce weight. So I've got no idea what species I might be catching today. Um, I'd assume dab, place, flounder, hoping for a dab. Dab would be really cool. I've never caught one before. Maybe a dogfish. Those are the sort of whiting as well. Basic species I could be expecting. And on the slightly rarer side of things, there's a small chance a cod might show up small chance of bass might show up and you just really never know when you fish in the sea at any given moment anything can happen just had a bite not sure if i've got a fish on or not just because i don't know what it's like to bring in uh, this weight really might have been crabs for all i know but there's something what a start. Weed. <laughs> Could have called it. Maybe you didn't have a proper grab on it. I did strike quite early. We've got one. Didn't even know. Didn't even see the bite, but we've got one. <laughs> Come on. Yes. What are you? What are you? 
So for the first time in a long, long time, I've caught a fish species that I'm not 100% sure what it is. If anyone knows, let me know. I didn't even know I'd had a bite, but look at that. Beautiful fish. I can't believe it. I'm so pleased I've just come out and caught one. But yeah, as I said, I don't know what it is. Could be a place, could be a dab, could be a flatfish. My knowledge isn't so good. So let me know in the comments below. We'll get this fish back and we'll keep fishing. There's a little close up for you fish identifiers just before I chuck it back. Yeah, can't wait to hear what that is. Nearly at high tide now. I'm expecting slack water in about 10, 15 minutes. One fish out so far. Wasn't really expecting anything, so I'm happy with that, but um, I'm hoping for one more bite as the tide turns. There's a couple more anglers down there. I've not seen, not really been watching, but I've not seen them bring anything up. So first fish, rods baited, back in the water. Let's get another, come on. The beauty of fishing from a car. So windy and cold out there. Just got the heating on. So I've just been using rag with a mackerel tip for the whole session. And the rebaiting has been absolutely brutal with the two rods. I've had, I've had to rebait like once every 10, 15 minutes on each rod. And what I was just wondering if you know why that is. If that I'm not hooking my rag right, I'm threading them through up the line a bit, out the bottom, wrap it around and again. I just don't know. Maybe rag doesn't stay on the hook very well. Maybe my hooks aren't big enough. Let me know what you think because I'm finding this really tedious having to rebait constantly. Just had a big bite on this rod. Not sure whether to just go for it. One more bit of movement and I'm there. I'm striking. I don't know, I think I missed it, but there's a chance. I'm about to pack up and leave as well, so if this is a fish, what a moment. Oh, I think it is, there's a fish coming in. If you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Really helps the channel. Come on, what a fish to end things off. <laughs> Last cast fish. So I think this is another one of what I caught before smaller let me know again if you know please just show you the back of it that's going to be it for the day just a short session oh, oh what a catch just a short session just come for a couple of hours that's the back of it don't know if that helps with the identification sort of translucent looking fish but a second fish of the day could be a new species who knows let's get it back in the water Come on! Thanks for watching everyone. As it's the middle of winter, I can't really be out trout fishing because of the season, perch fishing slower, still doing some piking, but mostly we're just passing the time till summer and spring where we can get stuck into some Lake District fishing. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you down the road.